This video is about one of my all-time favorite mink, a mink I called Fang. Some of my favorite memories came from my experiences of hunting and fishing with good old Fang. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Years ago, I went to the fur farm and I picked out a little baby mink, who I decided to name Fang. I named her Fang because she had a little white strip on the bottom of her lip that looked kind of like a fang. Twice a day, I take Fang out to do her training sessions for caching, and I make sure that Onsa comes along for these sessions as well. That way, working together is just another part of the daily routine. Onsa and Fang were the best of buddies. Since they were both raised together from young, they actually formed a bond closer than I have ever seen between a dog and mink. Fang didn't only form a close bond with Onsa, she also formed a very close bond with me. So we are hunting along these canals. We've got the mink on the leash, and the dog's supposed to locate rats, or whatever, mostly rats, if we don't get home. So hopefully this is one. Oh yeah, it's one. Look at her sniff. Look at her sniff. She's found something. Dog likes that hole. Meek's kind of changed her mind. Just it in it. Is there anything down there? Check that hole. She's gonna check that hole. Right now. Let's see if there's something there. Oop, oop, she's got one. On this beautiful snowy Saturday morning, we decided to go together as a family to work the mink and dog at a local marshland. Onsa the pointer lurcher travels ahead of us, searching the area for something that my mink fang can catch. In this marsh, it is possible for us to find both muskrats and brown rats, but finding a brown rat is much more likely due to the currently low water conditions. This was an exciting moment for me, as I've been waiting a long time for my young mink fang to take down a muskrat. 
After my disappointment last year with Rio refusing to take muskrats, it was extra exciting to see young Fang doing so well on her first. Though Fang was noticeably nervous, she did a good job for her first time, and I'm very proud of her and Onsa both. So I wanted to show you guys um, how Fang lived up to her name. Now I've explained this before, but the reason we named her Fang is actually because of this little white marking on her chin. It looks like a big old Fang hanging down. And when she was a little baby, it was this cute little mark. It looked like a big Fang, so we called her Fang. But what's interesting is she's actually grown into her name. If you take a look, she's got some pretty serious teeth there. Uh, quite a bit bigger than an average minx. And uh, she's really, it's kind of funny, we named her Fang and then she grew up to have some big old Fangs. What do you think, little mink? The dog says there's something in here. Good mink. Stay back, eh? Good girl. See, the dog knows to stay out of it. The mink's job right now. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, wow. We got another muskrat. That is so awesome. Good dog. She, she, she wants it, but she knows if the mink has it, she has to back off. Good mink. I looked upstream. There's something running on the ice way upstream. Yeah, look at that. Way upstream. I don't think you guys can see it. Oh, hey, look. Here it is, right here. It's hiding under the ice. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> He's sitting right under the ice. We can't get him once he's under the ice. She can't bite it through the ice. She's biting the ice. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see. There you go. Okay, I'm going to put the phone down and catch him. Oh, did you find it? I'll look at her crawl in that hole. She found something. Okay, so the muskrat went up in this hole, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's still here or not. I had to go back and get the name. Oh, 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 there right there. Got it. She's got it. Right there. I almost missed it. Stay out of it, pup. Stay out of it, pup. Oh, good job. Stay out of it, pup. found it finally <laughs> look at that muskrat's dry already <laughs> one of my favorite parts of hunting is actually the drive home after the hunt I love the feeling of accomplishment knowing my animals have worked well and have had a successful day I also really enjoy the bonding time spent with my mink driving home curled up in my shirt or laying on my lap with a full stomach and a tired body, this is one of the few times when the normally hyperactive mink is calm, quiet, and actually quite cuddly. Huh. You all snuggled in your bed. Come inside. Come to see inside and play. It's Christmas. It's like, I want this one. This looks cool. She's gonna, she wants to steal it. Yeah, she does. Oh, careful, don't hit <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good girl, you, you're so gentle. Yeah. Oh, she's so soft. You're so soft. Those big old canines are just scary. No, 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 got your toe. <laughs>
On this beautiful summer afternoon, Maggie and I are taking our little girl Olive to play in the water at the park. This particular park has a little play area where water flows from a nearby lake. This water contains occasional fish and crawdads, and so we like to bring the mink when we come to play here to see what we can catch. Fang quickly found some feral goldfish hiding under these rocks and started chasing them. Did you see where the other fish went? Yeah, it's swimming right here. Good job. Good job, Mink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, otra. Mink. Catch one more and I'll feed you up. How about that? That was cute. Oh, she got it. Did she catch it? I think so. Oh, nope. it swam up. She didn't see it come out though. Huh? She's no. Sitting, sitting under the rock. Look under that rock. Look. There it is. Got it. Oh, she's oh, oh, she got it. She got it. Good job. Putting her up. Shall we? Yes, please. Okay. Good job, thing. Lately, we've been taking Fang fishing at a lake near our house that has extra clear water and an unusually large number of crayfish. Crayfish are nocturnal, so the best way to catch them is to find them at night with a spotlight. There she is. Oh, 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 she, she found one. It's right there. Oh, it's a big one. She's Bang. out. She's way over there. She's chasing a fish. She's chasing one. Oh. Did she get it or did she lose it? Oh, she got it. Oh, it's an otter. It's a mink. Good girl. Good mink. This is awesome. Do you have I to train him to do that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good job, Faith. Good job. Good 
job. Or call it good. That's it for the night. Good job. Since I take Fang fishing for crawdads pretty much every night but Sunday night, we get to eat a lot of delicious crayfish. Crawdad boiled in salt water and dipped in garlic butter is one of my favorite treats. Oh, it's a muskrat! Get out of it! Get out of it! Get out of it! Good girl. Good dog. A lot of interesting things happen that we totally miss at normal speed. So let's slow the action down enough for us to see the details. While they were both running after the muskrat, Onsa actually stepped on Fang's head with her back leg. But it doesn't even phase Fang and she keeps going after the muskrat. Then, Onsa again goes for the muskrat, this time wrapping her jaws completely around its body. But she stops the moment I tell her to and backs off at my command. Now that's some pretty amazing obedience if you ask me. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Give me a candlelight. Good dog. Good dog. Good meat. Oh wow, holy crap. That was so weird, it was in such a shallow hole. It must have just been hiding there when we walked up, saw us coming or something. Good dog. Good dog. Good mink. Stay out of it, pup. Sorry guys, I'm not filming this very good. It's hard when your adrenaline's pumping to think. Good mink. Here's your box. Here's your box. There. Did you see the grass move in front of her? yeah. Something's up there because you see it jump. Oh, there it is. Uh uh, uh uh. Leave it. Come, baby. You gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. Come on. Come on, baby. Bang, it's right here. I see. Do you guys see it? Yeah. Yeah. Go there. Stay out of it, stay out of it. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Yay! Is this is pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. It's a big rat. It's a rat very grande. No, it's Eso no come, eso come de pasto, ¿no? So Onza says it's in this hole. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Let's see if it is. Good girl. Okay, Onza, get out there. Good job. Something was moving fast. That was really fast. Something was moving really fast. 
I don't know what it was though. I'm sure. I kind of see him. I heard a two fives. Oh, there's the meat. So is the muskrat. Oh, Must have been the muskrat because it's coming out of a different area. On this beautiful sunny afternoon, we're taking our mink fang fishing at the park. The park service had a large number of stock trout that were placed in this river for a fishing tournament, and the DNR required them to be removed before opening the waters again. And so we were given special permission to come and fish with our mink fang. Fang is trained to take any of the fish she catches back to her box, where I then trade her for some muskrat meat. We can then take the fish home to eat for ourselves. Though they may not be quite as good at catching fish as their cousins the river otters, mink are pretty handy little fishermen. Are you going to catch fish on it? Look at all this, she's catching fish. Uh oh. Good job. Oh, she lost it. She lost it. She got it. Good job. Re watching this footage, I could tell it's rather difficult for you, the viewer, to see the fish, so I'm going to explain exactly what happened. Fang initially caught the fish by the tail fin, but the fish wriggled free, tearing its fin in half to escape. The fish took off, heading back to deeper water, but Fang quickly caught up to the now maimed fish, and just as she was about to catch it, the fish made a sharp turn, trying to lose her attacker the way a rabbit does when being chased by a dog. For some reason, the fish headed straight for the bank, possibly looking for a place to hide, but Fang was right on his tail and caught him just as he reached the shore. It was a lot of work for Fang to catch these two trout, so after catching the second, we fed her up and went home. The next day, Fang caught a third smaller trout, along with a few young carp. Then Maggie and I had a delicious trout breakfast. We then helped the park net the remaining trout to satisfy the DNR's requirements to remove the fish from the stream. I think it's got one right here, and the dog's about to catch one up there. Oh, there's, nope, it got away, it just went up in here. Now where's the mink? Is there another one? There's something sticking his head out, I think it's another muskrat. It didn't look like a mink. There's a couple muskrats in there. Here's the mink, she came out from a different hole. Now she's just, she's looking for where that muskrat went. This is where that other muskrat went. It's in there. Fang! Oh, there's another one right here. There's two of them. There's one right there, and one right there. Right in there. Oh, the dog's gonna get it. Oh, it's under the water again. It's right here. Keeps diving under and she can't find it. Oh, she's got it. Oh, she lost it. It's right here. Oh, oh. She's got it right there. See, she's got it by the back end. So 
that she's got it. It's trying to pull away. She's got it by the back end. Shall we reach in and help her, Fang, Onsa? Oh, she it. Such a good girl. Yeah. Fought hard to catch it. Don't lose that big old boy. That was a good hunt. We went on a little trip to the Midwest to visit my family, and while we were there, we decided to take the opportunity to hunt some bullfrogs with Fang. Did you catch something? Here, 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 yeah. This one's huge. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's a fat guy. <laughs> oh, that's a... <laughs> oh, she got it. Oh, what are those crap, it's huge. It sounds like death. It's like so... It's oh, the it's size of her. So big. I was hunting with Fang in the forest, and right on the edge of the forest, there's this tall prairie grass. As we got close to this, this tall prairie grass, I put a leash on her so that I could keep control of her, right? And we were going down this little bike trail that went in between the forest. The forest was on one side, and this tall prairie grass was on the other, and we were walking down this bike trail, and this bike came zooming around the corner really fast. I was kind of startled and I, I stepped to the side and I loosened my grip on the on the leash and Fang of course was quite startled by the sudden appearance of this bike and so she shot off into the tall grass as quickly as she could and it zipped the the leash pulled right out of my hand and she was gone now what happened to her I don't know I mean it's great mink habitat she's an awesome hunter um, an amazing muskrat hunter. There were muskrats there, fish, crawdads, frogs, all kinds of things for her to eat, chipmunks, rabbits. I mean, she had lots of food. So, you know, as long as that leash didn't cause a complication, obviously she'd have to chew it off because uh, she's eventually going to get tangled. You know, as long as she chewed that off, I'm sure she's fine. Um, but that's the question. I mean, did she really chew it off? What happened? I don't know. I, I get really attached to my mink. You guys don't see a fraction of the effort and time I put into my animals. You just see a little bit. I, I show you guys a little video here, a little video there, but you don't see the hours and hours and hours and all the effort and sweat and blood and tears in between the videos. You don't see that. And I really pour my heart and soul into my, my mink. And so to lose my little mink fang was really hard. She was, I mean, all my mink are special in a way, but she was a special one for me. Just a, an awesome muskrat hunter, 
a good companion, really a, a good friend to me. We had a lot of good times fishing. Um, we got a lot of good times hunting muskrats and and it was really hard, really hard losing her. Um, like I said, I've tried doing this video multiple times. This is the first one I've gone all the way through. I think in part it's because I've had enough time to get over it. Um, the first time I did the video was just a month or two after losing her and I, I cried a lot. <laughs> and so I was able to get through this one without crying. It's, it's really a hard, a hard thing for me. Let her know wherever she is that we miss her. Hopefully she's hunting in the wild, you know, living the good life. Let's remember Fang and, and her, her passing in our lives. You know, she could, she could be alive and well for all we know, but she'll no longer be a part of our lives. So are you looking at yourself? You cute little monkey. <laughs> Look at that, that's the cutest baby girl in El Mundo. The cutest baby girl in El Mundo, mira, ahí está. Si, ese bebé.